Good evening. So my housemates are out and I thought I'd do a video. This is becoming a common theme. So I thought I'd talk about being trans and being an orchestra, which I am. This is why I am informal wear. I am not just randomly informal wear. So I play trombone and I have them since I was 11. And I'm I'm not great, but I'm not too bad. Like I'm in an orchestra and I've been playing quite a while and I've like played a lot of concerts and I've played abroad and I've played to big audiences, but I'm not like, I could never make a career out of it. You know, I'm not brilliant, but I'm all right. I'm tolerable. People pay and come and listen to the orchestras I'm in who aren't related to me and don't know me, which is nice. So um, that's that. And also I am trans and I am pre-top surgery, crucially, which is the important bit in this video. So um, two main things I want to talk about, socially and the physical side effects. So socially, um, play a brass instrument, very male dominated sort of thing. Um, I know some excellent female trombonists, so that's not, it's not anything to do with ability or anything, obviously, I don't even know why I'm going into this, but it is a very male dominated section. It is mostly blokes. My orchestra is ooh, entirely men actually in the brass section. Yeah. So, um, also, I'm nobody there knows I'm trans. Well, one person does because I knew her, like, not from orchestra, but, like, that's it. Like, the rest of them don't know I'm trans. Like, it's not a thing. Um, so that's nice. And it's, it's a sort of, it's the most masculine environment I'm in, and it's also the most masculine out of the ones in which nobody knows I'm trans. I don't really say stealth because I'm not very stealth, like, a lot of people do know, but, like, I like to have environments in which people don't know, and because I joined orchestra this year, as in post-socially transitioning, nobody knows. It's beautiful. Um, and that's not really a problem. Like, we don't have to get changed in front of each other or anything. Um, my voice is now low enough that I pass decently. Um, it's actually okay. I look like 13 in formal wear. I'm actually 20 years old. You can't tell. But, so it's actually not as bad as I thought. Like, it's it's blokey, it's masculine, it's very sort of body functions humour. And I, I hate body function humour. It makes me really sad inside. But it's, I like it. I quite like it socially. Socially, it's fine. There's nothing to complain about. Um, which is weird because I was expecting to have some problems and maybe if I'd been pre-tea like the year I lived as male when I hadn't been on tea and I wasn't passing at all <laughs> like maybe that would have been quite a different experience it's been quite good now physically is the big thing so it's a brass instrument you need your lungs that's what you need them for that's what a brass instrument requires it requires decent lung function and I wear a binder and I wear a pretty tight binder and I have quite a lot to bind so like that's it's not just a case of, ooh, put on a looser binder, because I put on a binder that is any looser, I don't pass. I barely pass chest-wise at all, anyway, because I can't bind to flat. It's it's too big, it's too much, like, it's not doable. Um, so, I have to bind, like, pretty tightly, and the option of not doing so is not there, because if I didn't, people would know. Um, so I have to wear a binder, that's no fun, and breathing is difficult. So you have very limited lung function, obviously. Um, I once had my like lung age done when, when I was wearing my binder. And I'm a non-smoker and I'm 20 years old and it gave my lung age just like 50. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not a very scientific test, but they cripple your lung function. It's very hard to breathe. Pitching is one thing you have to adjust to. So, um, you know, brass instruments, you control the pitch of the note by how much breath and stuff you put into it and lip shape. It is different. You have to adjust to it when you are wearing a binder. Um, because the amount of breath you have to put in is different. Everything sort of came out a bit higher. I don't really know why, because I wasn't actually putting as much breath in it, it didn't really make any sense. The other thing is, breathing-wise, um, so this is a full opera, it's three hours of playing. That is no fun whatsoever when you are binding. Um, if you are a brass player who wears a binder, I would recommend looking at tips for people with asthma, because they are quite applicable. I mean, I'm lucky I don't have asthma, um, and I'm... I have a decent level of cardio fitness, or at least I did before I started binding. <laughs> um, so, like, I've got decent stuff to work with, so I literally can be in an orchestra. If you had, like, problems with that, then it would be quite difficult. But I would recommend, if you are, yeah, a black and brass player who binds, like, look up tips for asthmatic people. Um, and things like breathing, just from lower down. Because it's very hard to breathe, fill your lungs to their full function when you are um, binding. So what you want to try and do instead is, like, really work on filling your lungs with each breath, so that you're filling them to normal capacity when you're um, wearing your binder um, and also try to not wear a binder like if you have the option if you can just wear a couple of t-shirts and slump or something if you've got that option then take it but um, it's not good I mean formal wear is no fun because you like I mean this shirt you know you can see through it it's really shit but luckily people are like oh you're wearing a vest under that and you're like yeah yeah I'm wearing a vest under that or like if someone asked I'd say gynecomastia like I wouldn't I don't want anything else trans at this orchestra I like this orchestra um, so yeah Pretty much what it's like i can't really complain and it's quite nice to be accepted as male like they i mean it's genuinely because people don't know people do not have much of a clue and it's it's lovely 
like people just treat me like everybody else and the con i mean the conductor hates me <laughs> because i'm not very good but um even when he's like having a go at me he says hey it's lovely it's really really nice and nobody's like even joked about oh you're secretly a girl or something because i have this fear that people will like joke about the fact that i'm not very masculine because i'm a shy trombonist and that's not a thing you should be if you're a trombonist you can't be shy in a trombonist it's a loud brave instrument and i always have this fear that people will be like oh you play it like a girl lol but no one's ever said that to me like since transitioning which is really nice i mean it's shit to be a female brass player like i spent years being a female brass player and it's not a social environment i'd recommend like there are some lovely people out there there are some lovely environments and i know some cracking female brass players but also because of the whole male dominated thing and the whole sexism thing it's not it's not fun but yeah so that's that's being an orchestra it's a thing i would recommend if you play an instrument you should probably not give it up because i'm worried that i'd have to give it up on transition and so far i haven't have to had to like post-surgery will be difficult because obviously you can't lift anything you can't move your arms etc for a bit trombone is not an instrument you should be playing post-surgery for a while i don't think um but i anticipate being able to get back to it once i've had top getting my lung function back and crucially being a better trombonist which would be nice um yeah that's about that